Halloween episode! Giratina is one of my favorite Pokemon, but people think he's a meanie, the Satan of Pokemon. I want to tell you his side of the story to show you who the bad guy really is. But first, who's Giratina? Giratina is the ruler of the Distortion World. Along with Palkia, Dialga, and Giratina, he is a part of the creation trio. These brothers were created by Arceus to keep balance within the Poké universe. Giratina can control and travel through the other dimensions of the Poké world, besides his brother's territory. Who's Palkia? Palkia is a ruler of space. He can control, travel, bend, and mend space at his own will. Who's Dialga? Dialga is a ruler of time. He can control, travel, speed up, and slow down time at his own will. Who's Arceus? According to Pokemon Legends, Arceus is known as the original one, who was rumored to have shaped the Poke world with his 1,000 arms. Take that with a grain of salt, as the Pokedex says this is myths slash legends, but Arceus is the known creator of the Creation Trio and Lake Guardians. Although Arceus seems to be more of the god of the Poke universe, he's more like the titans from Greek mythology and the creation trio are more similar to the Greek gods. The brothers Palkia, Dialga, and Giratina rule their dimensions like a bunch of old men. Grumpy, probably a little overprotective, and Arceus, the inconspicuously uninvolved creator, is like the dad who went out to get milk and never came back. Back in the day, they were worshipped and feared by ancient Sinnoh people despite their erratic and violent nature. One day, Giratina was banished to the Distortion World by his pops Arceus for being violent and angry. So, either Giratina did some messed up things, or Arceus was feeling moody that day, because all of them were known for being violent and angry. Giratina's personality in the anime, yes, I'm including the anime, because you can see more personality in the Pokemon, takes the job seriously, he's not a pushover, but has a gentle side towards Pokemon. Since the Poke World and the Distortion World are combined, Giratina has pretty much became the protector of both worlds. The biggest thing that made me think Giratina was not a bad guy was near the end of Giratina and Sky Warriors. Zero, the villain of this movie, captures Giratina in a ship that scans powers in order to control the Distortion World. So, Ash and the crew destroy the ship and save Giratina, but he is very weak and he's healing immediately. So, Shaman and all the forest Pokemon decide to use the move Aromatherapy to heal Giratina. If Giratina is a sphere deity, why would the Pokemon of the forest decide to help him? There's more. Zero comes back and makes a portal to the Distortion World to destroy the forest and village by creating an avalanche. As the protector of the Distortion World, Giratina goes after Zero to stop him before he does too much damage. Now, Giratina isn't perfect. He can tear a rift in reality, which can cause space-time distortions, and creates alpha Pokemon, which are Pokemon on steroids. This also affects the nobles, the guardians of the land, causing them to lose control and inflict havoc. Oh, didn't see you there. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, he provokes his brothers to go berserk. But as someone who has siblings, I can say that's the only fun part of having siblings. But that besides companionship, they're not happy. So that's why I find it kind of silly why Arceus banishes Giratina. Because Arceus acts the same, if not worse, than Giratina. In Arceus, the Jewel of Life, Arceus gave this one guy, Damien, the Jewel of Life, to help him rebuild his village after a meteor destroyed it. But Damien betrayed Arceus. He wanted to keep the jewel for himself, so he attacked him with a large army. Arceus, in his rage, decided to kill him and vowed to get revenge on all humanity when he returns. This means he's gonna destroy the world. That's a little much just for one guy who betrayed you. In my opinion, it's a little weird since you just banished Giratina for being violent and angry. So, why would Arceus banish Giratina? I think he thought Giratina was getting too powerful. Giratina can control and travel through the other dimensions besides time and space, and keep balance between the Poke world and Distortion world. Yet, it is said Giratina has equal strengths to his brothers. Hmm. Remember that. In Arceus, the Jewel of Life, while Ash and the crew go back in time to fix what happened in the past, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina fought off Arceus 
to stop him from destroying the world. In the end, Araki has defeated the brothers, and as he was about to destroy the world, Ash returned and saved the day. That must mean that Arceus is stronger than the trio, right? What if I told you they were only using a fraction of the power? When fighting Arceus, Palkia, Dialga, and Giratina were in their altered forms, their weakest forms. But in their origin forms, could they beat Arceus? Let's look more into the creation trio's origin forms. Palkia's origin form is his true form, his strongest form. Palkia in his origin form resembles Arceus as a strategy to gain some of Arceus' power. I don't know if that actually works, so take that with a grain of salt. Palkia's ability to control and travel through space and other dimensions allows him to create alternate dimensions and destroy space itself. This could mean like outer space or just literally space itself, I don't know. Pokemon's not clear about that. Palkia can also create his own universe with or without Dialga. He basically has the power of a god, even in his altered form, because around that time, Pokemon had only given Palkia one form. Imagine, what could he do in his origin form? If he can destroy space itself, then could he destroy everything ever? Anyways, on to Dialga. Dialga can control and travel through time. He can also evolve and de-evolve Pokemon, human, and plants. Does this mean he can de-evolve the Poke world? Not only can he create and destroy time itself, when Dialga was first born, time began and will keep flowing as long as his heart keeps beating. Finally, Dialga can create a universe with or without Palkia, and he's not even in his origin form. What powers do these Pokemon have that we don't even know of? It's Palkia and Dialga, in their weakest form, can create a universe. What? Also, Dialga can shoot down shockwaves and meteors, so that's fun. Now, that's a lot to unpack, so let's take it a little slow with Giratina. Giratina can control every dimension besides time and space. I have no idea what that means, but I'm gonna assume that's a lot of stuff. He can also turn himself into Shadow, and travel through the Distortion World at his own will. Now, there's not a lot known about what Giratina exactly does in the Distortion World, besides just making sure everything is in order. But how powerful is Giratina in his origin form? Giratina can transform into his origin form by holding the Grecius Orb slash core, or if he gets enough power. It doesn't say how much or what kind of power Giratina needs, but if he gets enough, he could be potentially equal to Arceus himself. This is crazy, because this makes so much more sense on why Arceus banished Giratina. He's scared. It is said that Giratina has a big grudge at Arceus for banishing him. Arceus has tried to destroy the world and has hindered the Poke world more than he has helped, leaving it up to Palkia, Dialga, and especially Giratina. But if Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina all have equal power, then Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina, in their origin forms, are equally as powerful as Arceus himself. So in classic Greek mythology fashion, the brothers could take down the titan Arceus. Could they overthrow Arceus and be the gods of the Poke world? Now, will this affect the entire Poke universe? Maybe? I don't know, because Arceus has been on Do Not Disturb for a while. The creation trio could easily do Arceus' job. The only thing they couldn't do would be to create another creation trio, because only Arceus can do that. Side tangent, who creates a new Arceus when the trainer catches him? Does... Badoof? But that's a topic for another time. With the combined power of the creation trio, they could easily overthrow Arceus in classic Greek fashion and rule over the Poke world together in peace. Okay, besides when they fight, but that's besides the point. Giratina is one of the protectors of this world. I hope people can see him the way I do. And that's why I think Giratina is misunderstood. I don't think you know how long I've been waiting to make this video. Probably since I started YouTube, I wanted to make this video. Like, my second or third video, I was like, why do people hate Giratina so much? Or like, his story, I mean, not, not how he looks, but... I really hope you enjoy this video. I've been working on this video for months. Bye, thank you for watching my video, it's really silly, and...
Goodbye.